Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do January 2022 readings for all the Zodiac signs. I want to thank everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And uh, if you are interested in having a personal private reading with me, um, all that info, contact info will be in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you subscribe. That way you know when all the new stuff comes out. If you are returning, then hey, it's another year together on this journey. Um, also, Wednesdays I go live to come join me and a great bunch of peeps to do a look in on all the zodiac signs, as well as um, a random reading, a whole lot of chit chat. So, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, come be a part of it. This reading is going to be for Pisces. Let's see how you're kicking off the new year in 2022. Wow, we got the star card. Could be dealing with an aquarium, but um, divine intervention, things going on behind the scenes, a wish being granted. Um, divine intervention. Hmm. And then you get the four of pentacles. Known as the miser card. Um, but also somebody who's not voicing their opinion, you know, or speaking their mind. Ooh, now you got the Knight of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But more so a messenger. A messenger that something needs to be put into motion, you know, to take action on. Because someone's, you know, not speaking. They need to know where maybe somebody stands. Hmm. They get the two of swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is turning a blind eye. You know, not addressing something, putting something on the back burner. White elephant in the room here, Pisces. You know, somebody might have to take some sort of course of action here. And either they don't want to move on it or put something in motion. You know, they try to get a response out of them in the silence. They could be avoiding something here, Pisces. Now remember, this is the energy coming, you know, towards you or the energy you're putting out there. Friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however it applies. But it's almost like somebody, yeah, maybe they don't know what to say, Pisces. You've got the Eight of Swords here, the self-imposed mind prison. Sometimes it does mean incarceration, a physical incarceration. Oh. Why well, don't think you get the lovers? Soulmate connection. It also can mean, you know, a life-changing decision. That maybe somebody doesn't want to address, doesn't want to make. It could be, you know, a call. You know, somebody has to make a call, make a decision on what action to take. Maybe they don't want the responsibility, Pisces. But you're being guided. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, and the universe hears you. And your guides are with you and stuff. But I feel like there is divine intervention. There's things going on behind the scenes. And I think it has something to do with a, like a lesson to be learned. Either from you or someone around you, Pisces. Because, you know, maybe you're part of the solution and not part of the problem. And that's why, you know, you could be in a situation of some sort. Or a ship, friendship, partnership. But somebody here is staying quiet. Recluse, maybe to themselves. Not voicing their opinion. You know, it's almost like um, hard to get feedback from somebody. And they're like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's something that requires action. You know, when the Knight of Wands delivers this, it's like it needs to be put in motion or something done about it. No, not the, uh-huh, mm, no. You actually need to know that somebody is going to address something instead of avoid it. You know, whether something needs to be talked out It could be, you know, a sensitive situation or a sensitive subject that someone stays silent about and it needs to be talked about. And Pisces, maybe that's where you come in 
You know what I mean? Um, as part of the, the solution, being guided to, to help somebody. Not to harbor something or not, not to harbor feel or know where someone stands or know how somebody thinks or feels. Because Pisces, if they don't, you know, speak, if they don't, you know, show, how are you going to know? This could be somebody who's, you know, hard to read. Because you're very intuitive, Pisces. But maybe you can't pick up on that because, you know, they could be blocked or consumed with something. You know, in the Eight of Wands, they could be, you know, worried about something. And they constantly think about that. It's like, you know, somebody's in your presence. You know they're physically there, but they could be miles away in their mind. And they keep it to themselves. Either they don't want to burden you or they don't want to have this discussion because it could be painful. But Pisces, um, when they're ready, I think they will. Um, the more that you try to extract, I think, information or feeling out of someone, because you have no problems expressing yours whatsoever, but that he might have or she might have a problem, you know, having the words come out correctly or expressing themselves. So they just don't say anything because they don't want something to come out wrong. But there's a deepening of a bond here. Something comes, you know, a friendship or a partnership, you know, it gets closer, it gets deeper. Because there's a mutual understanding, a better understanding, you know, between two people. Then maybe you want to let somebody, you know, they're not in it alone. You know what I mean? Or, you know, you'll be there, whatever it is, whether it's partnership or friendship and stuff. Pisces, I do believe that you're part of the solution. So, I think they'll come around. I think they'll finally take that course of action when they're ready. So, Pisces, when they're ready, make sure you're ready. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about joining us on Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So until then, take care.